handmade label called Rosary Apparel. Welcome back to another Behind the Brand video. Hopefully you're enjoying watching them as much as I like making them because I'm back and I'm making another one. I don't know, I've just really enjoyed filming a bit of behind the scenes of Rosary Apparel and I actually really love editing videos I've realised so hopefully they're interesting to watch and you're enjoying them. It's currently Monday the 25th of February and today I'm working on something a little bit different for Rosary Apparel. I was contacted a month or so ago by a bride who is wanting some head scarves made for her bridesmaids to wear on the wedding day which I think is just the cutest idea ever. So she asked me if I could make some head scarves and I totally was up for the idea. I've been wanting to make my own headscarves for a while now anyway, so it was kind of like the perfect timing. I actually just finished filming a whole video on how to make these headscarves. These are the ones I made this morning. Aren't they cute? I won't be going into depth in this video on how to make them, but I'll leave a link to the video where I do go into depth down in the description um, and you can check it out if you would like to make some headscarves just like the ones I'm about to make now. I'll show you the fabric that the bride has chosen. I think headscarves, like you know how floral crowns were huge in weddings there for a while? Well I think headscarves are the next thing and I just think it's going to look so beautiful. So let me give you a little look at the fabrics I'll be making the headscarves out of today. These are the fabrics she's chosen. They're all beautiful rayon fabrics, and rayon's always my favourite, so they are going to turn out lovely, I reckon. First things first is I'm going to cut the fabric to the size we need them to be for the headscarves, and then I will show you, I guess, the time lapse of me making them. beautiful really impressed with the stitching so yay glad that they are done and dusted so for the rest of today I am just going to continue on with the next collection of rosary apparel I'm currently working on the dresses that I'm making the kind of geometric print out of um, so I'm only just at the first few stages of making those so I think this afternoon I'm going to try to get those finished if I can and of course I'll show you the making process of them. I'll just quickly show you one of the dresses. I made it out of the beautiful burnt orange coloured fabric that I love so much but let me show you a little look at it. So here it is. It's just stunning. I really love this dress. I'm really proud of the spaghetti strap that I made. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to have some lunch and then I am going to get back to dressmaking.
anything for this video. I've been pretty busy at my day job and getting this collection finished and I've kind of just been going like a mad lady and didn't even think to film much. Yesterday I made some t-shirts though and I shared a picture on Instagram yesterday as well of them and everyone seemed really excited about them which is nice. Um, so I'll insert some footage of me making the t-shirts now. Janome 370E that I've been using to um, embroider onto my t-shirts. I'm actually borrowing it from my mum, having a bit of a play, it's her machine, but if I really think I might use it a lot then I might end up buying one for myself as well. through my new favorite book um, that came out this week called Spaces. Here it is here. Um, it's by Frankie Magazine. I don't buy Frankie Magazine religiously anymore like I used to, um, but whenever they come out with a Spaces book, this is the fourth or fifth, I think, I always have to pick it up. It's full of creative type people and spaces they live in and work in and it's just a really beautiful book. Um, I'm really nosy and I like seeing what other people's houses look like. Um, so if you are too, then I definitely recommend you pick it up. It's just gorgeous. And it's gonna take me ages to read. It's a really solid, thick book. So I just love it and I love looking through it. It'll sit on my coffee table, coffee table um, and I'll just flip through it a little bit each day. It's really, really nice. But today I'm also going to be shooting the next collection. So I'm going to be taking all the photos ready to put them up on rosaryapparel.com. My photo shoots are really basic, so my husband Matt takes the photos for me and I just model the dresses and I definitely do not consider myself a model, but um, I really, I don't care about that sort of thing. And I think it's kind of fun to see the person behind the brand wearing the, the items and modeling them. So I'm happy to do it for the moment. It's really basic, we just take the photos in our lounge room. Um, I'll share a time lapse of it so you can see how basic it is, but hopefully it's still pretty interesting to see the behind the scenes. Before I do the photo shoot though, I thought I'd quickly talk you through some of my most recent fabric purchases and a bit of my autumn sewing plan. As I mentioned before, I work part-time in a fabric shop, so needless to say, my fabric collection is a bit insane, but sometimes I just see a fabric that I just have to pick up while I'm at work. So here are a few of my recent finds. The first one, and probably my most favorite, is this beautiful printed rayon um, in this mustard floral print. I'm gonna make myself a long sleeve dress out of this for autumn and winter. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's stunning. The next one is this insane paprika colored linen. Absolutely love this colour again for autumn and I think it's the colour I can pull off which is good because I love it. I'm going to make myself one of my thin strap dresses that um, are good for wearing like long sleeve and t-shirts underneath. And then I've picked up a few remnants, this beautiful little floral zipsy fabric. I think I'm going to make it into some scrunchies for rosary apparel. This polka dot rayon and I think this will make a really cute collared shirt. Another mustard. This one I'm not so sure, maybe a wrap skirt if there's enough there, I think that could be really cool. So that was a good find. All of these um, remnants are around the $2 mark, which is a bargain. And just another polka dot rayon, but just in a black with a white polka dot. Not sure what I'll make out of that yet, but hopefully maybe enough for a little short t-shirt style dress would be really nice in that I reckon. So I hope you like seeing a little bit of my fabric stash and um, look into my future sewing plans. Hopefully, if I can, I'll share the making process of those dresses 
in a future Behind the Brand video.